Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Memo here, thanks for joining me. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Magic Square MSB20 UFO. This of course is their version of a G1 Autobot Cosmos. A pretty decent little figure, I'm not gonna lie. But let's check out those accessories. As far as accessories go, it doesn't come with much. He actually comes with two of these, which can be used as pistols, but their main use is the exhaust in alt mode. Nicely painted silver on the tip. Green is just green plastic. He can hold those in either hand. Or if you're like me, you can just plug them in as the exhaust for his alt mode and leave them plugged into his backpack. It's not going to interfere with the transformation at all. And that brings us to the figure. I got to admit, I do like him. Let's take a good look at the face sculpt. Uh, yellow is painted as well as the blue eyes, but the red is just red plastic but you got some detail on there head does not have any forward back or side to side but you can do a 360. looks like we got the spaceship for the shoulders speaking of shoulders they can go up to there they can do a full 360. you do a bend you got bicep rotation Hands are a bit of an issue for me just because they don't lock into place. It's very easy to pop them down into transform trans into alt mode, I should say. But I think some kikis might fix that. Regardless, uh, the guns on the hands can pivot, so you can put those wherever you like. The yellow paint here on the arms. It looks really, really nice. All the green is just green plastic. You've got amazingly done blue, white, and red, black, white in the center, which I've taken the liberty of putting a faction logo on there, yellow surrounding. It looks, as far as articulation, it does have a full 360, and surprisingly, an ab crunch, which is nice to see. As far as the legs... Just orange plastic, can cook up 90, kick back 90, and go all the way out. You do have rotation at the thigh. You do have 90 degrees worth of rotation at the knee. There we go. Maybe a tad bit more. And then the feet, as you can tell, you've got down... No real up, but you do have a really good rocker. On the feet, you do have the black and yellow paint. Nicely done. And there's a view from the back. Now, the instructions don't really show you how you're supposed to put the backpack. You've got this. I like it that way because it doesn't show through in all mode. But you do have the ability. You can, you can do that. But it comes up a little bit and becomes visible. Um, so I kind of prefer this. It ma makes it bigger, but you're not able to see the backpack from the front. But other than a few tolerance issues, like the feet, they just want to wiggle. And honestly, he falls over super easy. He falls backwards. Other than those tolerance issues... I think he's an amazing little figure. I really do. For comparison, here he is with their recently released Huffer and Prime 2.0, Light of Victory. As you might expect, transformation on this guy is really intuitive and pretty simple, but it's fun. So let's get started. First thing, I mean, you can go ahead and push the head down if you want. You want to go ahead and Collapse the arms, swing the hands in, and bring the guns around. Do that on this side. Now, you want to go ahead and separate the chest. You can now bring these out to the side, get them out of the way. 
these are on a double hinge so they will rock out and they are stiff so be careful and you want them to nuzzle right in there just like that so showing it again Being, it is it is tough. I wish some of the other tolerances were this this tough Okay, push those in Now we can go ahead and close this guy up since we already have the arms extended Bring these around and just set them out of the way for now Here we're going to bring this down and the tailpiece down. Come to the feet. Go ahead and peg those guys together. Kind of see where that's going. Bring the feet forward. And bring the body forward. And you see those prongs that go into those holes in the feet. Go ahead and bring this guy down now. Like so. The arms bring down, but these prongs are going to connect in those holes. Once you've got it, you've got it. Do the same on this side. Make sure your arm stayed connected. And these will connect to the slots on the side of the handguns. And lastly, swing the feet out, the bottom of the feet, and they'll connect right here. All right, I'll clean them up a little bit and we will Take a look. And here we have Cosmos in his UFO mode. And he's just a, such a fun little bot. You've got all the chest paint and detail that we came that came through in robot mode visible now. Still. You've got a lot of detail here, which is really nice. All the black that you see is painted, along with the yellow, yellow here, but the green is just green plastic. Got some more black detail here. There's a good look at the, the guns being used at the exhaust. You can actually pivot these around if you want to try and make it look like he's turning, which is a nice, nice touch. You've got the silver coming through on the, the guns for the hands. Now more boosters for his robot mode, or sorry, his alt mode. Looks really fantastic. And more detail on the bottom but you've got that yellow and orange from robot mode coming through and arrow is telling you which way he's going it looks awesome just for scale here he is with magic square prime 1.0 magic square mirage and jazz final thoughts let's start with the negatives the only thing that I really have is I wish the head had a little more articulation rather than just sliding up and down on that single joint. Possibly a ball joint just to give it some movement rather than straight up and down. The tolerances are a bit of a problem. Like I said, he does tend to fall backwards a little bit on his weak ankles. But, I mean, the loose joints, that's nothing that can't be fixed with some kikis. Overall, not too bad as far as negatives 
positives? I mean, let's face it. He looks just like Cosmos from the cartoon. The paint that's there is done fantastically. Uh, from what you would expect, the articulation is pretty astounding. And it's just a fun little transformer. It really is. I picked mine up directly from magicsquare.com. So check out their, their website. They've got some great deals going right now. I think this guy was $23 plus shipping. It's a pretty fantastic price if you ask me. If you haven't already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to get your bell on so you get notified of future content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.